Well, back to City Hardware again. <laughs> My go-to place all the time. But we got that one downstairs guest room finished as far as the tile goes. And um, the next room that's actually ready to tile right now is the small guest room downstairs. We had a few tiles left over from the, the other guest room and we're gonna utilize them and buy more of the same tile right here again and finish out the next room as well. So I'm here to try to hopefully see if they have uh, 25 pieces of this in stock and that'll go along with what we have and should finish that out with no problem. I'm not having here always is getting any help. I have lots and lots of employees, no help. And for instance, I've already been in here waiting, and then these people come in and they went right to them. I think they're shy always still to help the canoe. And so they go right to them, but I get skipped. Yeah, a little aggravating. Well, the wait continues just for someone to recognize that I'm even standing here. Well, that was a pretty cool time back there in City Hardware. I had a subscriber from the US recognize me there and he's like, hey man, I was like, <laughs> just pop up right up on me, man. It was kind of crazy. And uh, he didn't he didn't want to be on video or nothing, so I didn't get that, but he was really enjoying to talk to me and visit with me there. And then, after he went on his way and all, there was uh, a Filipina girl <laughs> that dude, was smiling and waving and all that, and I said hello, and she, there was a whole group of them there, and them too watch our channel, and they were also uh, shy to be on video or take a picture, but they were really happy to uh, see me and meet me, and they were also local here in Oton, and they watch our YouTube channel. So I thought that was really cool also. And these were both Filipinos, a Filipino from the US and then local Filipinos as well with the other family. And I think that's cool that uh, we're reaching into the Philippine community as well. And even even younger, you know, these, this group of uh, Filipinos were probably in their like early 30s and on down into their 20s. So that was definitely um, nice to see that and to know that we're reaching across um, a large demographic right there. And I appreciate all of you very much for watching, supporting, and just uh, listening to what this old dog has to say. <laughs>
I'm gonna buy the rest of mine abroad and bring them back with me. So I told him, I said, but you know, they've got inventory around this store. They just don't know where it's at always. Or they would just say it's out of stock instead of going and looking for it. Well, we talked for a minute and he goes on and he comes back by and he sees in my cart that I have a bunch of shelf brackets. And, but it was a different type of shelf bracket than the ones I was telling him about. Well, it was the exact ones he was looking for. And he goes, hey, where did you get those? I said, they're right down here. And he said, man, I've been here with them and arguing with them because they don't have any of those. And you mean they're right here? I said, yeah, they're just another eight foot down the aisle right here. He was so upset. He went and got the boys that helped him and he was really giving them the what for any long go. <laughs> and then he went on to the um, the manager up there or, or one of the managers and, and he was really giving them the what for too because they told him they didn't have an inventory. And lo and behold, the Cano shows him where all the inventory is at. And they had a whole bunch of the brackets that he was looking for. They probably had 50, 60 of them in stock, you know. And so uh, he was pretty upset because he almost walked out the store with the item. I see how this is a regular occurrence. And that I'm, I'm really trying to convey this information over to the owner. And uh, nevertheless, he, he, was, he was pretty put out with the way that they had just brushed him off. So he gave him the, the what for. I said, you know, you're just talking until you're blue in the face because I give them the what for and I come right back in and it's the same thing every trip. But, that aside, I really like city hardware. But, you know, sometimes these, uh, these managers are not doing their job. And that means when you manage, you've got to manage the product and you've got to manage your employees both. And neither is happening there there was a previous manager there that was so good and very customer oriented uh, he would be right on top of things he would be on the floor he would be seeing what's going on to where the current manager does a lot of just setting with no facial expression he gives you that poker face and uh, he'll listen to what you have to say and it's just literally selling in one ear and out the other with no change taking place. I really miss the manager that used to be there. I miss him greatly. Man, great service, great attitude, and I seem to always get better help and, and f faster on, uh, on everything, just on everything. So having the right manager makes a huge difference. Just beautiful and it's so cool that they can do things just like dry rice right here on the side of the road and here it's not a problem it's not an issue life is way more relaxed when it comes to those things so I saw Bonbon bon, that's done all the wood doors and frames and stuff for me. He was there in City Hardware looking for some uh, roller tracks for, I guess, a roller barn style door that he's doing for someone. And he had been to some of the other hardware stores, the competitors to City Hardware, and none of them had any inventory. But um, he got lucky and City Hardware had what he was looking for, so that was pretty cool. Uh, it was a aluminum track and then the rollers with the bearings in them. Very important to him that it had bearings and uh, for this sliding door. So that was cool that they were able to fill his needs there. Well, I'm here to the Casa and I need to get backed up here and get unloaded. So I got some brown trim here to finish out around a little window opening in our master CR. I got this black trim to make that little radius up there. Um, 
at the counter in one of the guest rooms there where I'm putting that marble. So I think that'll look good. I'm not really doing any building now, but just in case I want them for the future, no more than it's going to cost me. I bought some of these electrical boxes that I really like. And when I see them, I wanted to grab some uh, for any future projects. And I'm just going to keep them on hand here on the property. Because um, these are those nice stout ones. And they have the screw that goes down through them. Um, instead of that insert there that will corrode and mess up or pop out. So I got those. And got a few other brackets. Some uh, of the air conditioner. The air con outlets right here. Aircon outlet set got some of those for different rooms that we haven't completed yet and uh, And I got a bunch of those brackets that I was talking about As well right here, but these aren't the main ones that I need for those baskets and all those I guess I'm gonna have to try to get on a broad.